So I recently made a video demonstrating how super sampling is comparable to someone nearsighting putting on their glasses. The demonstration only worked because I was able to use super sampling in Robo Recall. I have not tried most VR titles. I've tried quite a few, and yes, many have native super sampling. I was provoked to see which games in my library have and do not have super sampling as an option. War Thunder does not give you a numerical value, but you can adjust the resolution. Virtual Warfighter, which has outstanding mechanics by the way, actually lets you adjust the numerical value like Robo Recall. Rip Coil also allows resolution scaling. In the vanishing of Ethan Carter, adjust the scale resolution with somewhat odd lock percentages, but it allows, so I'm not complaining. Time Machine is straightforward as well as offering scaled resolution. Subnautica's scaling is in the presentation tab and slides. If it would just slide there, there, 52, 152, okay, whatever. Robinson the Journey offers precise scaling, but be warned, I can crash this program on command by super sampling and improving the screen space directional occlusion with a 1080 Ti. And if I don't want to crash, I scale the resolution to about 1.7 when using SSDO. VR Sports Challenge with its really cool menu allows you to scale up to 120% its value. Arkham VR has a proper pixel density option where it calculates the value into a percentage. Pollen gives you a similar resolution scaler labeled as VR Render Quality. New Retro Arcade Neon lets you use the old school Nintendo Zapper to improve the resolution scale up to 300%. There's also a lot of other good options for graphics right below it. Valkyrie, which has my favorite VR menu, gives you the option to improve resolution to 175%. Additionally, as of July 2017, eValkyrie offers an ultra textures mode, and with Warzone update, you don't even need a VR headset to play. And that's between PlayStation and PC, via monitor, Vive, or Rift. Elite Dangerous has a fairly well-buried super sampling option that took me asking where to find it in Reddit. But look in the quality submenu and there it is. With Dead and Buried you can utilize your rusty six shooter to improve the render scale to 2.0.
In DCS, click the microscopic gear icon and select the VR tab to quickly slide your pixel density as appropriate. Crytek didn't shortchange us by allowing a render scale option in the climb. CDF Starfighter offers an interesting option, in fact, there too. One for the Rift, and one for the Vive. Big screen, one of the best and free social VR apps has plenty of way to improve the resolution including of course super sampling, which you want if you plan to use your desktop in trying to read text in VR. Arizona Sunshine with its very cool menu system very clearly allows you to adjust render scale while you watch your surroundings look better and better. I've reached out to the VR community asking for VR titles you knew that did indeed provide native super sampling. Please remember that these were provided to me by the community. I do not have copies of these games, so we'll just have to trust their integrity of our VR friends. Lone Echo, Gravlab, Fivecraft, Sports Bar VR, The Gallery, Rocket NX, Abduction, The Wizards, Battlezone, Eleven Table Tennis, Thunderbird, Sorrento, and Raw Data. A few more games in my library that allow what looks like possible resolution scaling but does not flat out tell you include Kronos, Pinball FX VR, and Rec Room. I mean, it's a little hard to tell when the settings read something like fast, simple, beautiful, fantastic. Please tell me if I'm wrong and I'll update the description. Again, the following do not natively super sample. Quill, Project Cars, VR Funhouse, Ark Survival Evolved, Grand Canyon, Senza Peso, the Xbox One streaming app, Oculus Video, Virtual Desktop, Descent Underground, awesome by the way, Back to Dinosaur Island 1 and 2, Dragon Front, Zero Days, Adventure Time, The Lab, Medium, B99, great developer, Toy Box, Google Earth VR, Feral Rights, Eve Gungjack, Tilt Brush, Farlands, Dream Deck, Poly Runner, Minecraft, Portal Stories VR, Disney Movies VR, Hero Bound, Alt Space, Defense Grid 2, Adrift, Roller Coaster Cave Depths, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, V Time, Space Bit Attack, Showdown, Lucky's Tale, Techno Lust, Pro Fishing Challenge VR, First Contact, Mission ISS, Job Simulator, Edge of Nowhere, and VR Chat. Clearly, I did not provide super sampling information for every VR title, just the ones I currently own. We'd all love to see more games confirmed with native super sampling, so please leave a comment for any that I did not mention. To the subscribers out there, all 69 of you, thanks for sticking around, and I appreciate all of your likes and comments. If this list helped you, click on Boba Rett Butler's face there sitting on top of my Mustang PC to subscribe. See you in the comments. Thanks.